Hey guys, Susanna here. Well, we are here with the first part of um, Journal of Stitchery Volume 4. Um, I was going to be using this as my background, but as you know, my colour palette, well, if you've seen my, you know, my um, mood board was more pinks and greens and all that kind of stuff. Um, and recently I put out some of these on my website um, and I still, still do have some available about three left um, of a beautiful background and um, and I pinched one for myself I managed to score four of these um, tablecloths and um, yeah so what I'm going to do in this part is I'm going to put um, treasure hunt well, I'll probably put treasure and then hunt here and then, you know, the word and um, 2023. So I might put that in there, like, and I'll stitch that in. I just love this and I thought I'm going to keep that in there because, um, you know, I've I've sold tea, I've got china and, you know, I've got beautiful old um, plates and everything. And so this is sort of a real treasure for me, my china um, stuff so I thought I'm going to incorporate that into my piece um, so what I'm going to do so it's a fairly fairly big piece so in half your half and then that's that that again so I don't know whether I'll start at the top or I don't know so what I've got is I've got out some of my bits and pieces and I just drew an S and I've got all scribbles and stuff all over it um because i know a lot of these old pieces are is this the right way yeah it is um i've got this piece i um got when i got found those tablecloths um when i found this i found this beautiful fabric and sanderson fabric and all that kind of stuff so um, i'm getting a kit coming out soon once my english pieces arrive <laughs> from my holiday which should be soon um, and I'm going to have beautiful um, English florals. So, um, yeah, so that just works beautifully with this colour here. So that is going to be a piece of fabric. Whereabouts is it? I'll show you a big, a bigger piece. It's just stunning. It's so pretty. When I saw it in the vintage market, I'm like, oh, yes, please. It was an old... 1950s tablecloth and i got that bit here was had been you know this frayed all that i had to unpick so it's just got all these gorgeous gorgeous flowers on it it's just so pretty i love it i love that one too that one's definitely going to be incorporated in it well it's on the bottom here but it may not get in so here I had two ideas of what I wanted to do and I've got all my, I want to put some laces and bits and pieces in there. So I've got a big mess. So I was looking at this and this almost, almost looks like an S. But then when you go like that, it looks like an L. So I was going to somehow transform that into an S. It would make a perfect L. It really would. Um, so then I thought, oh, I want something a little bit bigger when I had a look at some monograms and all that kind of stuff. Um, I really I love this rose and so I want to incorporate that. And I'm actually going to do it um, sort of on point a little bit. So I'll have it that way. And um, I was either going to do this with a bit of linen and go over the top of it. Um, I don't know, I'm not sure. I was actually thinking. I've got this too, and I've seen a lot of these little, you know, like uh, monograms have got crowns and all that kind of stuff because you want your own personalised monogram. I'm making it a little bit fancier. Um, you know, they've sort of, it's like their crest. I got this. And this is extra special. I got this from my father-in-law when we were at a vintage market. And I just loved it. And I think it might be when um, Queen Elizabeth had her coronation. And sort of like 
um, you know, back in, it's from the 1950s anyway, and it's got some pieces missing and everything. I really love it. Um, and so I've kept it all these years. So I got it from my father-in-law. He gave it to me when I saw it and I really loved it and he bought it for me. So I may incorporate that into like on the top of the piece somehow, maybe even on the bottom. I don't want to cover my rose. And it goes, goes beautifully with the, oh, am I too far over? Oh, yeah, hang a minute. I might see if I can move it. It goes, it does go really well. And it's got an extra special meaning because it's from my father-in-law. So that may, if it doesn't make it in this piece, it will make it in another piece. Um, and I was thinking, you know, I want to put other fabrics and laces and stuff around it. Here's um, a piece of that stuff in my French finds. The colours go really well. That even might be a good base, but and then maybe just cut out that and stick it on top. I don't know. Ah, it's just so hard to decide what to do, what to do, what to do. But I thought with my little scissors, they're here somewhere buried under this lot I really do like this and you see a lot of these um, pieces and they've got I don't particularly want to cut that part but I'll do this they have these beautiful motifs this is a piece I got from France from the markets I'm just cutting off bits as I need them. So I've got plenty of treasures for my treasure hunt. Also got this piece here, which I got from um, Joy from my Happy Mail. I thought that'd be really nice to sort of like tuck over a little bit. And um, yeah, I sort of really want to embellish it. Um, I keep that handle thin a little bit anyway so all these pieces will be incorporated but I suppose I think I really do like this so that's going to go with that but I was thinking you know doing the S and then that can somehow go in the middle of it um, because it's just they sort of have that sort of scrolly type of stuff now I just got to figure out what color I'm going to be doing my uh, you know because I do it in the cream and it blends in I even got out this I was thinking but it's probably not the right color and I'm going to couch it down look at this this is all my previews I got from um, Doll's House Vintage, a little box of goodies. I mean, that even looks like a crown. Isn't that pretty? So, hmm, I know I definitely want to do that in there. That's why I'm umming and ahhing, do I have the planer piece? And then just cut out some of these to put on top. My iron, every time I turn my iron on, like, heater goes off really annoying so i'm just gonna still a bit of warmth in that i might behind that down um this is the one and only piece i managed to save and then that can go over there so that's two of my french finds that's got um, and I could probably cut out that plonk that there because I really like it so it's going to be done somewhere there I think and that way I incorporate my S as well and it's got leaves and all that kind of stuff I've just got to figure out what I'm going to do with this. Okay, I've got some of this stuff, which is a bit of a bugger to work with. But um, I might have to trace that on there. 
this is just a design I've um, done myself so it doesn't really matter normally I would trace it the wrong way um, I might pin it needs to be needs to be held down so it don't move like that So yeah, this I find S is hard to draw, and I looked at some monograms and all that kind of stuff, and I thought, oh, I'm just gonna do something myself, and you know, it'll work. That way, I know it's unique to me. I'm not pinching any any um, you know, not most of the stuff's free anyway. So, but you know, I'm not pinching anybody's design. I might go out a little bit. This seems to be cut up there. Yep. Yeah, so. Um, yeah, I'm pretty excited about this one. I do really like monograms. I think they're, they're quite nice. So, um, and usually when it comes to, you know, the down the garden, muddy down the garden path and um, you know the other ones I like to make my first one a, a bit of a special one so the fact that it's monogramming makes it all really personal and see it doesn't really matter which way you do it because you, you take off the paper both sides so if I cut it um, with my paper scissors This is this is the stuff that's called like um you know light set steam you know it's more for a sewing machine rather than doing it by hand but because I'm only just going to do that in the middle um I think it'll be okay so I can take out this now and then we will attach this um To my piece and I like the idea that it's um, how I did how I'm gonna do a line in the middle like I'll do stitching on the outside but I'll do another line I quite like that it sort of gives them a bit of definition and then this way it's um, definitely personalised. It's not perfect, that's for sure. It's bigger on one end on the other and it's definitely got an up and a down because it's not easy <laughs> designing and doing an S. One of the harder letters. Okay. Sorry if I'm quiet, busy concentrating. That's the top. Okay, probably keep some of these for small bits that I have maybe down the track keep it in with my stash okay now it's definitely a right and a wrong way now you see no that's the top yeah that's it okay so what we're going to do 
There's my piece. Where did I put it? <laughs> oh, here we go. I don't know if we can see. Where are we going to put this? I've got some of the tiny bit of the blue, and I'm going to sort of like, you know, add little bits and pieces along the edge. I definitely will. I'm going to cut that out. I just love that. And that will probably stick out like that um, over the edge. That'll be good. So that will be incorporated. But I just want to make it so that the S stands out. So, um, do we have it in a multicolored colour? I thought I was more organised. But I'm not. Now, I've got a big bag full of goodies. Do I do it in a pink? Or do it a little bit layered? And so it's raised up. Ooh. That may work. And then... It's definitely going to be raised up. Boy, that's high. But I think that one will work better. With this colour, actually, hang ten. Back again. Okay. Um, do I just use a plain? I do like that colour, but it's just so thick. Just so thick. But then, you know, that's the, the point of it. it. You know, does that work? Oh, really soft. Yes, and that's raised up. Okay, where's my little cutout embellishment? So many bits everywhere. There we go. It's got to have it working with that. See, that stands out from that. And then that, oh, that looks good too. Then we've got green. And then we've got this bright. So, how's that going to work with this? What I might do, before I do anything, I'm just going to cut out this. Just so I know where that's going to be working in with. That was just, just a bit of a rough cut. Okay. Might keep that. Don't know. See how I go. Okay. So. Stuff everywhere. Got all my bits and pieces out. I think that's too light. This is going to be going up there like that. With that sitting over there. That doesn't quite work. I keep going back to this one. I think I might have to use that one. Either that or I just do a plain in the cream and then highlight it. Or we've got that. Now that might work. Where's that piece again? It's gone flying. Here we go. Yeah, just that just stands out, and that probably oh that does work. So what I am going to do? Hmm. I think I wonder if I could take that part off, but then what else am I going to use this for? Hey, okay, now 
when I glue it on, so you go out and get all this other stuff, then you end up going back with what you had. <laughs> but it gives me an idea to do stuff later on. But I like the way it's a raised, a raised piece. So now, so when I take this off, that'll go that way. So do I need to put that on the back? So it'll go that way. No, I need to take it off this side. Ugh. There we go. Which Ugh. at least this way I'm saving that that piece. Okay. I mean, I've got the design. If it doesn't work, I can always come back. Now, is this... Let's just... Once again, pins. Definitely need pins. And then I'll have to turn on my, this has gone underneath the wrong way, it's really annoying. This is not going to be easy. You need a sharp pair of scissors. I'll use that for something. Okay. All right, sitting in silence. Gotta be so careful. I might get the iron and iron it on. I've, it's one of those that you know you press and seal, but um, I think I do need to really do give it a good iron to make sure that it is down and it ain't going anywhere. Okay, not easy, <laughs> but anything worth doing is usually hard. Now, this was a kit that I got from um, Debra that. Um, I got when I was over there. It was a um, kit to do um, a pin holder, like you know, one of those needle cases. That's it. That's why they were cut to this size. But it's not going to go to waste. At least I've got some nice thread to 
put it down with, which would be good. So that will probably be thrown. I can keep that. And then I may turn on my um, piece, turn on my um, iron, and I'll be back. Okay, back again. Cut it out, stuck it down. That will be cut out and probably over the top like that and I thought I'll take out this I was going to do a lighter one but I think that works better and then we'll proceed to stitch that down where's my little piece oh I keep losing it that goes over the top here's my S that will probably somehow sit I might even be able to put that underneath that you know have that off to the side um, oh, did I put it in here? Packed everything away, so could have been stuck to that. Oh, seriously, here we go. That's going to go over there like that. Oh, it's going to be nice. Going to be nice, and then that will sit on my piece. So um, it's probably a bit light for you guys at the moment. Now, I think I need to pack up some of this because it will be getting in my way. So I just got a few bits and pieces out. Oh, that might even work. Um, Colour wise, seeing if that was going to work. And where is my. There's all my little bits of laces. That will be incorporated into this beautiful piece. Very excited about this. this is going to be quite um, vintage looking, which is what I want. Here we go. I will need one of these. Move this over. Grab myself a needle. Which here we go. may not work with that now we'll just see that's definitely going to go into the piece that's for sure so now to decide what um, what stitch am I going to do two fancy stitches just a basic stitch I think probably because it's going to I'll be plowing through it So that I'm going to stitch onto that and then, then this piece I will stitch onto my piece which will be, you know, cut out a little bit. Um, I might stick that a little bit lower. See that goes beautifully and then that's going to go in. I might even have it like that coming in there and we'll have um, you know maybe even put something in there some lace or you know like that underneath probably leave that Then we could probably have, I like that you can see a little bit of this, have that going and then you have a bit of the green underneath. Just want to make it look really feminine and pretty and I'm going to leave, I'm going to leave this attached and um, loose. So. I think that's probably where it'll go and then you know you've got to attach bits and pieces so that's my first piece even though it's very big <laughs> um, you've got to realize these bits will be left will un undone um, yeah oh I like that that looks pretty so and then this gorgeous bit over the top just to really scroll it whether it fits in the middle it just sort of looks like those old old time 
stitches so okay well I think I may leave it at that you've got a bit of an idea of what I want to do because all I'm going to be doing is stitching that down yeah, I like that I like that I think I got this bit in France as well um, really sort of scrolled out piece Thanks, Joy. There you go. Your first piece is going in there. And this is from France. That's from France. And so is that. So um, it's going to look beautiful. Okay, well, I'll just stop it there. Thanks, guys. And I'll catch you in the next one because at the moment I'm just going to be hand stitching that around there in just a stitch. So you've got the basis of where this is heading. Oh, it's so pretty. So I'm going to have quite, a, quite the pretty feminine type of treasure treasure board okay thank you very much for watching and i'll catch you later bye